Hello everyone, this is Pastor Miguel from the Children's Bread Delivery Ministry Church here in Maryland. Today, I want to talk to you about what we have planned for next year. Next year, uh, we're planning to go on a mission trip to the Philippines where we're going to be preaching the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, which says that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, that he was buried for three days, and that he rose from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father. So the main reason why we're going to the Philippines is because the Philippines has been having major problems with demonization. You know, since 2015, if you look here at this article, this is here 2015, help wanted, the Philippines need more exorcists. The Philippines, there's a lot of witchcraft in the Philippines. And as a result, we they're seeing a, a huge increase of uh, demonization. So our goal is not only to preach the gospel with them in the Philippines because... Uh, they need to hear it, but also, um, you know, not only them, but, you know, many nations need to hear the gospel. But also the fact that uh, they need help with uh, exorcisms and deliverance, okay? So our goal is to go next year and to set up camp and to pray for anyone that needs prayer, uh, that needs deliverance, okay? That's the plan for next year. So the reason why I'm making this video is because... Obviously, in order to do that, we need your financial support. We cannot do it uh, if we don't have the financial support of our supporters and the people who watch these videos. Um, so this one here is from 2015. Uh, this is Help Wanted. The Philippines Needs More Exorcists. And it talks about, you know, how since 2015, uh, the Philippines have been asking that they need exorcists because they have such a, a big workload of cases and they don't have the help. And so here, uh, you know, if you look here, Church to Evaluate Demon Possession. Recently, I made a video in regards to um, these the school that multiple girls were demonized and uh, they were evaluating the girls. And then uh, if you see here, if you see here, uh, let me see, right here, it says here that they're opening a center called the San Michael Center for Spiritual Liberation and Exorcism. They're opening this one in Manila. And the reason why they're open is because they have such a great need for healing and deliverance that they, um, they're going to open the center. And let me look exactly when the center is being opened. Uh, it says here, it's held up. it doesn't say, I don't think it says. But, you know, they're, they're in dire need of people that could help them and so um our goal is to not to go to this center because we're, we're born again christians these are this is a catholic center where they believe that only priests could do uh exorcism and i'm a pastor i'm not a priest but uh you know we feel like the need is there and they don't build buildings like this unless there's a need okay so there's obviously a huge need this is the first center in asia uh, you know, and the good thing about this is that people from all over the Asia area could probably come here. And I don't believe, I don't, and, and get deliverance and get an exorcism, okay? The interesting thing is that, you know, the good thing is that they don't only take care of Catholic people. They take care of anybody that may need the help. And so they come there uh, for healing and deliverance. So this center is very good. And um, we hope next year to be able to go to... Cebu Philippines and to pray for the people there uh, hopefully we could do that but we can't do that without your support so please consider donating to our ministry uh, I'm going to put the link to our webpage below you can go to our webpage and click on the donate and make sure you put a comment on the donation when you make the donation that is for the Philippines missions okay thank you so much for watching this video I appreciate your support guys God bless you take care